It's been almost a year since I left my home country for studying. I flew to the other side of the world completely alone, successfully moved into my college dorm, had a lot of fun and different experiences. Some things changed ever since, some things remain the same. And now, after finishing my first two semesters in college, I'd like to share some of my thoughts on being a student outside of your country. All right, hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back. We also gotta say welcome back to me as I'm coming back to my channel. I'm going back to filming and doing all the cringy stuff in front of the camera. Um, it's been a while since I was gone. I don't even know when I posted the last video, but I wasn't posting anything in a while for my YouTube. Um, I'm completely okay with taking breaks and this channel is like completely for me. Cause I like to talk and I like to film, I like to edit. That's why I do all of that. So I'm not blaming myself. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. By the way, the background, as you can see, is maybe if you watched my old videos, you can recognize the background. I'm in my parents' house right now. This is the place where uh, all the filming and all that started. Like one of my first videos were filmed here. Wow, such a popular place, bro. I came back for a summer break, which means I'm here for, for exactly three months. And then I'm leaving back and resume my bachelor's degree. That's really important. E education is important. Guys, study. Study hard. Uh, learn a lot of things in life. Life short. Khadi! That's super annoying. The whole internet talked about having this feeling of not having home anymore and stuff. I did not feel like I was a stranger here. I just felt like I am in my past, like other dimension. How to explain it? Like you go back to other dimension, your past life. Maybe it's because it's too different. Like the life you have abroad studying is completely different from the life you had before going to study. You have a whole new personality now and then you go back to the place where you had another personality. And when people here ask how does it feel like you're back, I always say it's like you're in other world, other dimension. I cannot explain it otherwise. Next thing I would say, if you move and you live in other place for a while, that's gonna make your brain adapt to a new place. You basically create this personality from scratch just to adopt in the life that would fit into this country's life, you know? I feel like that's what it talks about when it, when people say, oh, different languages, different personalities. But I would certainly say so. Uh, another thing that I've noticed, when you get isolated from the family and you're like far away, you're gonna have to decide everything for yourself, which means decide what you eat, when you go to sleep, and if you're gonna stay home or not, you know? Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but even though you feel like you have the full freedom to do anything you want, there's some things that you just cannot not depend on your family members. You cannot be allowed because there is a family member that's sleeping. I'm, I'm talking about that. And this whole freedom gives you the opportunity to get to know yourself better. I would say you would never know yourself and what you like, what you don't like, how you want to do this and how you don't want to do this. If you are still dependent and you're still in the place where you were born and where you're comfortable. Uh, I'd like to talk about people too. Sometimes I feel like, I, like I've i grown in different direction than people around me. It's really hard to communicate now. There's certain things that they don't know about you anymore. And I completely accept that. I understand it. And I know it's an okay thing because you haven't seen a person in a while and they can change and it's okay. But I also understand how you have this perception about the person and it's saved in your mind like this for the rest of your life. So basically what I want to talk about last is your habits. Habits that you develop in other place and then you come back and it's almost impossible to live the same life because everything is different being a student is very beneficial for life like the gym membership that does not expire till the end of your studying uh that's freaking cool <laughs> here i'm gonna have to pay for it i still pay for it as a tuition but it's not the same <laughs> i'm really thankful that you watched this video till the end if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, any other videos. I'm so excited to share my life with you guys. See you in my next videos.